Alright, well this is a quick little message. If you aren't from Tom's channel, or if you are, just do me a favour for him. First of all, if you want to get art, don't just put in the comments, oh, can I, can you make me this for free, please? That's not how art works. Art's a lot of money, well, a lot of time for Tom to do, and possibly money. I know, I've known Tom for a while, and when I first met him, obviously I requested in his old request system, which was fun. And I still know him, and we do videos together, and I may have requested something the other day, uh, which will be, if it happens, which will be an amazing thing to see, because my I've, I'm just going to say I'm quite creative and I really liked my idea. Um, I had to request properly, I had to read the entire thing on his website, which I did. I had to go through all the formalities, as do you, You're, no one's any different unless Tom says you are, basically. So just remember this when next time you want art from Tom, go on his website, read the requests, and request like a normal person would do on his site. Like I did. I mean, I'm not a normal person, I'm a weird person. But yes, do it, at, please, for me and for Tom just to make his life easier as an artist and a busy person. Thank you for re listening to this quick message. Hello everyone, welcome to Dragon Ball Xenoverse with Thomas Lavards, say hello. What's up everybody? We're doing this again. And if you're looking on the screen, you can see it's me, a purple Broly, who is an evil one versus a purple Goku, the battle of the purple Saiyans. Yeah, So I was wondering. Yeah. For this episode, we're going to be talking about our top five hopes for Xenoverse 2, which is a sequel to this game. Which we are both incredibly excited. Oh, I'm incredibly excited. I'm not sure how excited you are. I am too. I'm too. I'm just waiting for pre orders to start. Oh, yeah, I mean, that starts. So, 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 do you want to start with your number one hope for Xenoverse 2? Um, the first thing I already realized while I joined in the lobby is I want an actual chat in the game. Like, it's. It's cool that we can do all these gestures or what it is, like all these poses and stuff, but you can't really communicate with people in there. Yeah, like if you understand. And really, sometimes it's a pain in the ass, you mean, like, you can't communicate with those people. And they kept adding more stuff to the to the chat things they already had. Yeah. But I think that, like, it's not not, not enough in my opinion. Yeah, that's a, I mean, like, I would love an actual chat with text where you can write stuff. Yeah, I think that's a good thing. I think that's a doable thing. Yeah, it's. I think it's necessary, like, to have a good game. My number one request is beam clashes. So basically, as you can see, if you just see, look at, like, say, I don't know, if you just shoot a beam like a Kamehameha wave, and then someone Me? else, like, no, if anyone did that, like, oh. if, if someone shoots that, and then you shoot another wave at the same time, like you're doing now, I'd say if I had another beam, those two beams could like clash a bit, and whoever's is stronger would actually win. So, you know, for that, it's it's a DBZ thing. It's always been in yeah. Dragon Ball, and it's kind of ridiculous that that it's not in the game. Literally, one of the first episodes of DBZ, Goku and yeah. Vegeta clash with Galaga. Team clashes are part of DBZ as as everything else. Like exactly. it's as real as Super Saiyan, so it needs to be in the game. I hope it is in the next one, because imagine like being able to clash a Gallic gun and Kamehameha, how just amazing it happened. Yeah, yeah. What is your next hope for Xenoverse 2? Um, my next one is kind of already in the game, but I always wanted a new lobby. I hate it. I hate the lobby in this game. But we already have a good lobby as far as I've seen. Like, you can fly around and stuff, but I don't want to judge it before I Oh, you mean it. like a hub world? Like yeah, just, this yeah, yeah. hub, hub world. Like yeah. you can fly around and stuff. As far as I've seen, I I also heard that there are hoverboards. Yeah, yeah. I think you don't land flying straight away, so you get to use hoverboards. Maybe I don't really know. Yeah, but you know, I don't want to judge it until I test it. But I really want a good hub. Yeah, you know, something. Cool. From, what, from what we've seen, it looks like it'll be good. Oh, that last finish, that last second finish. You got. It. From what we've seen, it'll be better again. Yeah. No way, when Xenoverse 2 comes out, we'll be able to put, we'll be training and stuff, so we'll be good. Um, yeah. So before I go on to my number two, let's go back to number two. <laughs> um, let's go into the next game and we'll start it there. I heard two voices. I looked at my list, I didn't see who it is, but I think it's Vegeta. Oh, for yeah. <laughs> Goldo versus Vegeta. Okay, we're back, and this time it's the Green Frogman versus Vegeta, the most, like my favorite character. You got the most popular character in Dokkan Battle, so... Yeah, what, exactly. What? Yes! 
Don't know what that does. Haha. Okay, so what are we talking about? My my second thing I want from Xenoverse 2 is no attributes on clothing. What I mean by this, if, if you're a fan of Xenoverse, you'll know what I mean, but if you don't, so basically, for your custom character, you can wear whatever you want. You can wear, well, you can wear anything that the game gives you and that you have a lot. But, it will affect how your skills are, like it will make you either weaker, it makes you have less health, more health. But, I don't want that because, I mean, if you find something that looks really good and you want to wear it, you can't because it's very outmatched, like outpowered, oh, underpowered? Underpowered to everything else in the game. Yeah. So, from well, what they could do to avoid this is maybe if they want um, to put that in, so there are attributes in clothes, but maybe like a style slot on the on the clothes, so you could wear whatever you want, but have attributes from another piece of clothing. If that makes sense. Yeah, that totally makes sense for me. The the thing, the problem with with like how it is right now is that everybody looks the same in the game. Everybody wants the most overpowered yeah. clothes. No one want, like I was wearing Gohan's tracksuit once, and that has no attribute skills on, which is why I was wearing it. But yeah. then I realised it has no attributes on it, so I can't do as much as it was. Oh, that didn't work. So that was my number two. So basically, no clo clothing with no attributes on or a style slot. What is your number three, Mister? My number three is. Is our sea souls and items? I don't know how about you, but I never use sea souls. Mm. Maybe it's just me because I'm not that good at the game, but I felt like most sea souls are really just there to have sea souls. Like there are only like two or three good ones, and the rest was I don't know bullshit, to be honest. Yeah, some was useless. Like, like I, I want one. them. Like items. Also, I always use the health items if I used any the capsules. And I would love, like, if they add stuff like that, that it's actually worth using. Yeah. If that makes that sense. But then maybe it's just me being a bad player. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. Like, I think some of these souls are useless. Like, there's, like, this, the Cyberman one, which, like, when you die, you blow up, so you kill one. You can attack your enemy, which I don't see a point in. Because, yeah. I mean, what's the point of that? But some of them, if you know how to use them, they can be good, like, um, Cell has a perfect Cell is a good one, where all his stats rise after a set amount of time, which what? could be considered useful, and yeah. you kill them. So that was your number three, for items and these souls to make more useful, shall we say? Yeah, basically that. Add more stuff we actually could use, and more fun stuff. Mm. Okay, so we're going to the next game and I'll tell you my number three. I have a female character. The dad. Sounds like yeah, sounds like Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Yeah. You're <laughs> she, done. Before. She she only has those Hercule moves, right? Oh yeah, this like, is the hack. Not this is the hack. He uh, or she has key I forgot she can fly and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so we're in the game, it's Gogeta of Super Saiyan 4 from GT versus Videl. Yeah. Yes. The strongest the girl in the whole game. The power level is rising, look at it. It's over it's amazing. 90. Over 90. <laughs> Still stronger than Yamcha. Could be actually rather more. Nope. Nope. So basically, well, my number three is combos. Now, if you just look on my screen, now I'm not going to say there's no combos because there is a way to show them, but um, it literally says you click Y and then you tab Y again. And that's not a combo, that's just button mashing. Like, all I have to do is spam X and it will put me into a combo. Like, I'm all I'm clicking is X and boom. No, don't do it. So, what I would like from the game is, like, say you have to click X, Y, and X and it'll do something cool. Like, stuff like that, not just button mashing, because that, was, that just drives me insane. And I know that puts, like, a lot of people off games like this, like fighting games, and they just button mash to win. Would you agree? Yeah, uh, totally. The, the Dell Arts. Yeah, totally. I'm just <laughs> keep on trying to stay alive. But uh, yeah. Point, you can't win on its go I'm trying my best. What did I just. Okay. You can try. Okay, so what is your number four? My number four is actually something I'm not really. It was just a random idea. It's not something I really want in the game. Like, I do want it, but it's. it's Basically, the PQs are need more variety. Mm. How do you say variety? 
right? Right. Yeah, in the game. Because yeah, all we have is like we either you kill everyone in the game, like in the in the PQ, or you just get a Dragon Balls. Yeah, I don't know. And one random thing, I mean, like I was thinking about stuff it, they could add, and the first thing popping in my mind was racing. Which yeah, I was about could, to say which, which could be fun, like fly around a parkour or something, but it's not something you yeah, want in a fight game, you know? Was, Maybe they can think of something better. I was just about to say racing would be a good idea. Another good idea could be like tournaments against the AI kind of people. Yeah. Where, I don't know, you can win a good prize at the end. That could be a good PQ. If anyone doesn't know, PQ means parallel quest. Yeah, I can help. Quest. She's dead. No. Okay. I think we've got a good system here. So I'll tell my number four next game. Tom's for this row was remember, PQs need more variation, which would be a great thing if they added into the game, because that would just lead to a lot more content for YouTube creators and more fun. Yeah, for the exactly. Player. Like, it's always the same thing. Yeah. So, hello, we're back into the next game, and it's Vegito versus Golden Freezer. Versus the Emperor Freezer. So, it's me again, my fifth pick? No, this is my fourth one. Oh, it's your order. Oh, you see. So, my fourth one is that we can choose our own oracle, because if you just look at my screen now as Vegito, you can see it's blue. And that's the same for our custom characters, I'm pretty sure, is it white? It's but always the same, yeah. It's it's blue, it's, blue, it's blue, and yeah. it's white if you have the... Uh, how is it called? The... the Tension Unleashed? No, the thing you get from, from Elder, Elder Kai. Uh, yeah, it's Potential yeah. Unleashed, isn't it? it comes, I think yeah, it yeah. turns white, but I'm not sure. And it's probably Golden if you're Super Saiyan. Though, yeah, that's, that's all right, yeah. But, I mean, it would be cool if you could choose your own colors. Like, some people would want red. I, for me, I, if I could choose any color, I would love a brighter blue, not just that blue. I mean, it's kind of boring, but I mean, I'm, I'm a light, bright blue person. Oh, uh, oh no, 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 no. So as you can see now, me running around now is gold. But if I could just have it like a blue or a red even, oh, I'd love it. What color would you choose if you could have any color draw? I'm probably like purple or red. Something cool. Oh, I got it. Death. I love the aura Goku has as a god, like the red one with the fire. Oh yeah, that research. I love Golden Freezer's one as well. It's like a yeah, it's like purple and gold. Yeah, that would be a really good aura to have. Like if they had Super Saiyan God in the next game, that would be cool to have. No. But I don't think it's gonna be a transformation because we only saw it once. It's Goku. Well, I mean, I did hear on the manga that one of the episodes he turned Super Saiyan God instead of Super Saiyan Blue. So really? can transform into it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, that means he can transform into it. I it thought it's only like with the help of five other Saiyans, but probably not. No, apparently he has a way to do it now. What did I just do? Okay, so before the match ends, what is your number five? Your final thing? My final thing is that the game is just sometimes, sometimes too difficult. Some PQs are just ridiculous. You can't beat them. Hmm. They're just there to make the Same. game hard on you, and the worst thing about it is that that you de sometimes don't get any drops out of it. Like you play it over and over oh, again, yeah. the, the PQ is like impossible to beat, and you don't get anything out of it. And I've I've played some PQs like 20 times, and I still need to get some Zizos to to finish the Gohan and Videl training. I, oh, I just yeah, stopped playing the game because I was. Like, I didn't care at the end anymore, because the game was just too, too, too grindy, you know? I don't want, I don't like that. Yeah. Maybe if you made it, like, the higher the difficulty of the PQ, the, the more chance of Yeah, that would be awesome. Oh, that was a close fight, actually. Who won? Who won? Oh, I think I won just by a hit. That was your number five, so I'm going to say my number five in the next round. Okay, so as you can see, it's Trunks versus Bear. Burr. And better is the Sonic of... Grand he actually Marvel, is. He's, he's blue. And yeah. he's actually a hedgehog. Or... <laughs> yeah, he's a... I'm not just gonna tell you something. Actually, it doesn't. I like how his head has that, that weird thing in the middle. Like, do you see it? The oh, golden yeah. thing or what it is? And it actually yeah, fits to the, like to the Freezer army suit. 
Yeah, it does actually. That's a thing I never really saw. I don't know what it's in helmet. That's what it Just realized it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so my number five, I also got to mention. My number five is. What did I put for number five? Let's get up. No spamming. So, as you can see, I'm super zone right now. So, I'll just give you a good example of what I mean. Sorry about this, Tom. But if you notice, my key, which is the yellow bar, when I'm Super Saiyan, just doesn't go down. Oh, the special moves, which, it, which it normally would. You can. This is incredibly annoying. The best thing. It's in oh. online battles and PQs, which is one reason why I could not complete one PQ where Goku, Gohan, and Goten all Super Saiyan would spam a move. The on best you. thing is that there are moves which actually re like they the recharge your key and then you have basically infinite key exactly like, I'll like show you i just used it to I power up further like he's charging up now and he just uses ultimate move and he has no more key but i charged up and i have all my key and you I can, can keep spamming and just recharge and i'm dying <laughs> and he dies that's why online battles on this game are the most annoying thing to do I actually have one more thing just for the thing and just improve online services in general. I heard they're actually working on that. Yeah, I had they wear as well, but as long as they're good, so like it doesn't disconnect halfway through or it doesn't lag. Like I know that, that can be can be your own problem, but if you have good internet and it lags everywhere, you know it's the game's fault. So if they could just fix that for us, I would love it. I heard the servers are actually pretty good this time. But you know as yeah, I said. Have as I said, I'm not judging the game before I've tested. I'm just, just waiting. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the minute that game was in pre-order, I think you can count on the both of us that will pre-order it in the first yeah. few minutes, maybe. Maybe first few seconds, actually, when that game comes out, I'm pre-ordering it. Yeah. Hey, so thank you everyone for joining me and Easy E over here. Goodbye, everyone, and thank you Peace. for joining us. Peace. Peace. Tom will get to why I called him easy, not just because he called himself rap names, just because straight out of content.